at the mansion with Ill Scarlet. Now you're obviously playing songs off your 2012 EP release. Yes, we are. Yeah. Now, how many of those songs are we going to hear tonight? At least two of them. Well, at least three of them. Yeah, actually, we yeah, yeah. Three or four, maybe all of them. It depends on, yeah. You know, we kind of like let the crowd decide somewhat, too. See what they want to hear. And if halfway through the set we want to jump into a new song, we're just going to do it. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, is the EP kind of a tease leading up to a, a full-length album? Yeah, it's a, I guess a prelude would be yeah. the, with the word. <laughs> so it's, it's just a bridging. Because we haven't released anything for such a long time because we've been putting this full length together and because of scheduling difficulties and all the other bullshit that goes on that we just couldn't get our shit together. So um, this is just to tell people, hey, we're still around. We're still working. We've just been doing other things. Such a bad answer. <laughs> we, we, we've been finessing the, the new songs for a couple of years now. I mean, we've been writing them and like going back at them and making sure you know we can you know do the best job possible with them. Last time we had to write our one-up record, you know, we only had a few months to do it. You know, being on the major label, they want the next record out pretty fast. Yeah. So having the without the major label on it this time, we've been able to sit and, you know, really really hone in on the songs. So with the but then it was taking a while, like, like Alex said, with produ producers. So we decided, well, we'll self-produce with our uh, and we'll have our friend Matt Drake, um, engineer and mix, and uh, yeah, we just put together the 2012 EP. That's cool. You bring guys in from Dodger to play yeah, and produce it. That's yeah, cool. And he did a great job with it, too. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Is it difficult having so many producers help kind of engineer your album? Uh, yeah, I mean, like, we've been just trying different producers out to do the record. So what we only do is, like, a song or two. Um, working with Matt was awesome, the whole record. It was just, I mean, big Dodger fans, and he's a buddy of ours. So it's just really nice to... We're just hanging out at his, at his house all day and just... Oh, nice. Yeah, recording songs. It was a good time. Yeah. Do you have any uh, hindsight on when you think the album might be out? Um, early spring, or yeah. looking like March. Yeah, I would say yeah. March. I mean, that's uh, that's, that's, that's best case scenario. Yeah. <laughs> kind of get it out just so you can hop on the Warp Tour again. That'd be great. Yeah, yeah it'd be great to get it. Like, I mean, maybe not the entire thing, but uh, it would definitely be great to be doing like a half of it, or at least a few weeks of it, getting on certain shows. Yeah. Yeah. Because it definitely, like, we did the whole thing last year, and definitely that's your entire summer block, right? I mean, if you're out there trying to promote a record, that's coming out in Canada, and you're only doing two dates on the Warp Tour in Canada. It doesn't make a lot of sense to do the entire thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. But uh, yeah, no, we'll definitely uh, always have Warp Tour in mind. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it must be just great to get on a tour like that, and especially get into the U.S. Like, how does the U.S. and Canadian fan base for you guys? Uh, good. I mean, we we're more popular in Canada, but uh, we we have, we have little pockets of fans all over the U.S., which is really cool. Yeah, nice. like Florida. Ca California, Florida. Um, more tropical places, I guess. Yeah, no, uh, the, oh, that's perfect. The yeah. Northwest too, though. Like <laughs> Oregon's really good to us, and uh, Washington. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah have you had uh, any problems getting your music down in the U.S. too, like on radio stations? I don't think we've ever been played on a U.S. Oh, radio no. station. No. <laughs> That'll be great though when that happens. Yeah. <laughs> you think it's kind of weird, especially being on a tour like that, the Warp Tour, that your music still isn't getting played. We'll as do much as it should be. Well, do a lot of bands on Warped Tour get radio? Yeah, them? not really. Warped Tour is yeah. kind of the, like the anti-radio. I mean, it doesn't, it's, right now, radio in the U.S. is, you know, strictly pop and country. That's just what, what all the stations turn into. There's not very many rock stations at all. There's definitely not any alternative stations. There's definitely... It's K-Rock. It's K-Rock. They'll, they'll stay strong forever. Yeah. They've got it going on. But, I mean, the indie stations and the college university stations are something we should have been, we, we, we need to be getting into because that would be, who would play us? Yeah. yeah. I just don't know who we have called to do that. Yeah. Do you know? No, not really. Oh, okay. Well, oh, the Queens could have been a good shot there. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only one I know of. Now, where do you guys all plan on being with the record? Like, do you have any kind of ideas for a uh, success of the album? Well, I mean, hopefully it does really well. Hopefully it does really well and we get really rich. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this time around, uh, we, 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 we own the record, so we'll have uh, more control over the licensing in the rest of the world. Oh, nice. That way it'll be it'll be easier to get it out there, and then that can get us over there to be touring and playing there and expanding our fan base. Yeah. Now, from your previous experiences, would you change anything, or or are you going to change anything as you're writing this album and producing it? Uh, as far as the writing process? Yeah, even that and the recording process, and even the way you guys are going to put it out. Um, well, I mean, what we've done a lot with this record that we haven't done before is that we've been recording songs as we've been writing them, whereas in the past we just sort of play them live over and over again and try and think of something to sing about. But this one, we've been putting it down and recording it, which is a lot more um, productive, I find. Like, you just 
waste less time playing the song over and over again. So that's that's been really fun to do it that way. As far as releasing it, I, I guess it'll be different this time because we're not with a label, so yeah. we'll have to do it our own self and you know get out to radio. So if this record nose dies, it's completely our fault. So yeah, <laughs> can't blame anyone but ourselves this time. <laughs> but if it does amazing, oh, we're gonna yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> especially now that you're just on a short tour. Like, are you going to change things up each night, or are you just going to kind of keep it the same? Yeah, we don't have, like, a set list that we have, you know, in stone that we do every night. We'll usually, we have an idea of where we want certain songs, but, you know, we'll just do a set list right before, or even as we play, we'll figure it out. And usually the thing that makes a, a set fresh or not, or dictates how it works, is the, is the people, the fans in the audience. I mean, if they're, if they're, like, going mental and stuff, then... Yeah, that's exciting. And if you know the drinks are flowing and everyone's having a good time, I mean, that, those are the best shows when everyone's just drinking and having fun. And you know, I don't have to do that voice that all like <laughs> rock star guys do. Like, are we having a good time, Kingston? It's much more comfortable and natural for me to just speak to speak to people and tell some jokes. You know, talk some talk some shop and. Yeah, and just enjoy the party afterwards. I think that's my favorite part, too, about the show. Not because we're not done playing, but that's when we get to go out and actually hang out with everybody on a personal level. So. Yeah. Uh, now, where can people find you on the Internet, and especially when this new album comes out? Well, obviously. Our Facebook, Facebook and Twitter and YouTube. And, uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully television and radio. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it'll, be, it'll be all over online. There'll be a lot of online push. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks yeah. for the time. Yeah, no, I'll no let you guys load in since we're kind of standing on an empty stage right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks a lot. Yeah, cool. All right, thanks, man. Thanks, appreciate man. it. Thanks.